government unlike the United Kingdom, which has taken a relatively restrictive approach to the possession of arms, the United States has taken a more lenient approach. In the United States, three models have evolved regarding the interpretation of the meaning of the right to bear and keep arms as delineated in the Second Amendment. President Lincoln issues a public declaration that an insurrection exists and calls for 75,000 militia to stop the rebellion. As a result of this call for volunteers, four additional southern states secede from the Union in the following weeks. Lincoln will respond on May 3 with an additional call for 43,000 volunteers to serve for three years, expanding the size of the regular army. While the Republican field is packed with male candidates, so far, some of the sharpest Clinton critics have come from women. Democrats successfully campaigned on an alleged GOP-perpetrated war on women in 2012, but faltered in 2014 when they tried the same tactic. With Hillary Clinton as the likely Democratic nominee, the fight for women voters will be a central part of the 2016 campaign. Lincoln's apparently radical change of mind about his war power to emancipate slaves was caused by the escalating scope of the war, which convinced him that any measure to weaken the Confederacy and strengthen the Union war effort was justifiable as a military necessity. The Southerners did not accept Lincoln as a president because of certain reasons, based on historical grounds. Southerners wished to protect their rights in the government and become more independent from the North. They considered president elections to be unfair. Moreover, they thought that their own rights will be ignored and limited. All this caused the separation of the southern states and marked the beginning of the Civil War. Trump has threatened to declare China a currency manipulator, but experts say he has little legal or economic basis to take such a step. He has also threatened to impose a tariff of up to 45% on Chinese imports if Beijing doesn't behave a move that could lead to a trade war and damage the economies of both nations. Clemenson wanted to see if claims of question dodging actually held up, historically, not necessarily in the unique case of Trump. So Clementon analyzed the transcripts of 14 presidential debates, from 1996 to 2012. Overall, he found 51 accusations of question dodging, 26 by Dems, 25 by Republicans. Most countries are affected by labor migration. In many rural places, the traditional extended family has been undermined by the need for family members to migrate to towns as an economic necessity. Migration, therefore, presents a major challenge everywhere to social and economic policy. American executive, unlike the British, has no connection with legislature, and this lack of coordination between executive and legislature is one of the distinctive features of American federal government. The Constitution guarded against executive control by disqualifying federal officials, whether civil or military, from membership in Congress. The ritual of the state opening of Parliament still illustrates the basis of the British Constitution. The sovereignty of the royal family has passed to the sovereignty of Parliament, leaving the monarchy with the trappings of power, while prime ministers are still denied the kind of status that is given to American and French presidents. Another method governments use to try and influence the private sector is economic planning. For a long time now, Socialist and communist states have used planning as an alternative to the price mechanism, organizing production and distributing their resources according to social and strategic needs, rather than based on purely economic considerations. Of the hair on their heads and the style of facial hair. For practical reasons, Alexander the Great insisted his soldiers be clean-shaven, but Peter the Great of Russia went further, insisting no Russians had beards. Although Botswana's economic outlook remains strong, the devastation that AIDS has caused threatens to destroy the country's future. In 2001, Botswana has the highest rates of HIV infection in the world. With the help of international donors, it launched an ambitious national campaign that provided free antiviral drugs to anyone who need them, and by March 2004, Botswana's infection rate has dropped significantly. Life expectancy has increased dramatically in the last century. Most people these days will live for over 70 years. This is more than double the lifespan of the average human in the 17th century. We can attribute our longevity to advances in medicine and lifestyle. 
While everyone agrees that living longer is wonderful, overpopulation is becoming a serious environmental concern. Since Plato, philosophers have described the decision-making process as either rational or emotional, we carefully deliberate or we blink and go with our gut. But as scientists break open the mind's black box with the latest tools of neuroscience, they're discovering that this is not how the mind works. Our best decisions area finely tuned blend of both feeling and reason, and the precise mix depends on the situation.